Well, yesterday, a lot happening on Capitol Hills we've been talking about, but yesterday the House Oversight and Accountability Committee's Subcommittee on National Security, the Border and Foreign Affairs, held a hearing. The hearing was entitled Faith Under Fire, an Examination of Global Religious Persecution. And uh, an important hearing. You know, this is an issue I care very deeply about, having served as chair of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. This is something we continue to track. Now, witness testimony shined a light on how the Biden administration frequently, and I saw this myself in uh, my last year on the commission, they overlook religious persecution, routinely waiving sanctions that should be in effect. And we, we, again, we've talked about this on the program. But the Biden administration, instead of focusing on religious freedom, they're insistent on exporting the LGBT agenda. And this damages U.S. global standing and creates instabilities that, quite frankly, they have, uh, they have a threatening effect on our national security. Joining me now to discuss this and more is Congressman Glenn Grothman. He is the chairman of the Subcommittee on National Security, the Border and Foreign Affairs. He represents the 6th Congressional District of Wisconsin. Congressman, welcome back to the program. Glad to be on the show and very good topics to bring up today. Well, uh, thank you for leading this, this hearing. This is something that under this administration has completely been lost. It was the number one foreign policy of the Trump administration, but you're, you're hard-pressed to find any evidence that they're working to promote it or protect it. Well, it's going the other way, uh, and particularly with regard to Christians. There are a variety of uh, religious, let's say, minorities that are persecuted around the world. But if you look what's going on in Nigeria, say, as Christians are being killed by uh, the Muslim group there, you look at Armenia and what uh, is being done to those folks, by people from Azerbaijan, it's just horrific. As well as just people being suppressed, kicked out of their country, uh, say the Catholic priests in Nicaragua. You know, years ago, Ronald Reagan tried to uh, get a handle on the communist mindset in Nicaragua. They are now back. Uh, and so all around the world, we have religious persecution, which can happen to other groups too, right? Can happen to even one Muslim against the other in Pakistan, what have you, can happen to Muslims in Red China. But the, the number one group I think that's under attack today is Christians. And we don't hear much about this. I know during my time on the commission, we would focus on that, but the media wants to focus and, and, and quite frankly, it's, it's more acceptable to talk about the persecution of other religious minorities. But when you bring up Christians, and we're seeing increased persecution in India, uh, Pakistan, uh, you know, some of these that we're nurturing our relations with in terms of our foreign policy. But is there any evidence, Congressman Gro Grothman, that, that this is being discussed in our high-level uh, negotiations with these other countries? I don't think so. India is an important one. You know, it recently became the most populated country in the world. China is no longer the most populated country in the world. But there's kind of a anti-Christian feeling uh, in India right now. Uh, we all, you know, like to have a high opinion of, of Mr. Modi, who's running that country right now. But no question, you know, uh, very pro-Hindo at the expense of other groups, uh, one of which is Christians. So, so, Congressman, let me ask you, based on the testimony that came forth yesterday, was there a, a kind of a common thread woven between the different countries when it came to religious hostility and persecution? Well, well just that the United States does not appear to be weighing in. It doesn't seem to be a problem. And uh, that's very concerning. And like you said, when you let off here, maybe the reason... Um, the U.S. government is not that concerned about Christians being persecuted, is they themselves are weighing in on other countries with their LGB agenda, their Planned Parenthood agenda, as we uh, try to use our financial muscle or our foreign aid to make these countries less Christian. I mean, you might as well put a sign outside the current administration. We think there are too many Christians in the world, or we think people should not be living their Christian faith. Well, I, I would agree. What we've tracked is that the LGBT agenda 
is the top priority in terms of foreign policy. In fact, the president himself just three weeks ago at the Human Rights Campaign annual dinner stated as such. And, and so as you juxtapose that with the previous administration, religious freedom was a top foreign policy priority not to be found now. It's being crowded out. In fact, it's creating greater hostility to religious freedom as they push this LGBT stuff. It's really a problem. You got to remember when they push the LGB stuff, what that means. They went absolutely ballistic when in Florida they tried to stop uh, this gay teaching to uh, seven-year-olds. Right. Right. I mean, that that's what the agenda is. We want to introduce five-year-olds to this lifestyle. We want to put it in their mind that uh, this might be an option for them as they grow older. So it's what I would say a very extremist uh, an extremist idea for schools right. and if the U.S. would push this idea beyond the United States and on other countries is, is beyond horrific. And it becomes a national security issue because it creates greater instability globally. Congressman, we're out of time. Always great to see you. Uh, Glenn, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Glad to be on the show and hope all your listeners weigh in with the government and say we, we don't like this Christian hostility from the United States. We definitely will do that.